Hi, I'm Jason O'Dell at luminescentphoto.com and today I want to talk about traveling with Lightroom. And if you travel on photo safaris, I just got back from leading a workshop to Las Vegas last week. Uh, I took about 1,200 images over the course of several days um, and they're all over on my laptop computer. And I was using Lightroom out there in the field to process my images, to triage my images, apply keywords, labels, metadata, all that good stuff. And when you get home, you want to move those images over to your desktop computer. Um, I, for example, have a 16 terabyte external drive that I use to back up and store all of my images on. But when you move the images over, if you just copy your images, you won't preserve all of the Lightroom adjustments. Uh, you could use an XMP, but you still won't have all of the Lightroom information like pick flags, which is one of my favorite ways of triaging images. Use that little flag in Lightroom. So what you want to be able to do is easily work back and forth between a laptop computer in the field and your desktop computer at home or in your office. So here's how you want to do that. The first thing you'll need to do, and this is the easiest thing to do by far, is to get yourself a small... Uh, a small form factor portable external drive. So this is a two terabyte drive that I've got. It's really small and it connects to my computer via USB 3. And what I do when I'm in the field for the most part working on my laptop is I download all my pictures from my camera to this drive and not to my uh, laptop computer. But if you do it to your laptop computer you'll see there's there's workarounds as well. I work on my images normally in Lightroom with this drive connected and then when I get home I've got all the images over here. But I don't have the Lightroom information because that's stored in my Lightroom catalog on the laptop. So let me show you, let's go into my laptop computer, I'm going to connect this hard drive and let me show you how you can export your images from any one particular event. Uh, into a catalog that can then be transferred over to your desktop computer. All right, I'm in Photoshop Lightroom now, and these are pictures that I captured uh, last week leading the Digital Underground Las Vegas workshop. They're all in here. And I've stored these images on my passport drive, a two terabyte external drive, and I use the same general folder convention as what I have on my main computer. That is, I have a top level folder called pictures, and then a subfolder for the year, followed by the state in this case, and then the, the event. And underneath that, you can see I've got all these subfolders organized by date. So that, that matches the convention that I normally use on my desktop computer. So all these images are stored to the external drive and what I want to do is move them over to my desktop computer. So to do that uh, I want to preserve all the Lightroom stuff. I'm going to export this folder as a catalog. So I'm going to right click on this Digital Underground Las Vegas folder and I'm going to say export this folder as a catalog. And when I do that, I'm going to get a dialog box for the export as catalog. So I'm going to call it um, Las Vegas. This doesn't matter. Just call it whatever you want. And I'm going to save this directly to my 2 terabyte drive. All righty. Now, when you go through this export as catalog, if your images are already on your external drive, then you don't need to check the box that says export negative files. The negative files are your master images, your raw, any JPEGs, anything that you've already imported into the catalog. You can tell it to include or create smart previews. I'm not going to do that, but I will tell it to include all the available standard previews that I've already spent time making. So this folder is going to be created. And I'm going to make this catalog. Let's put it in a new folder called Las Vegas Catalog. All right. And then click Export Catalog. Remember, if you haven't saved your images to your external drive and they're on your laptop's hard drive, you will want to check the box that says export negative files. So I'm not going to check this box simply because um, I've already got those files in a folder on this external drive. Click export catalog and 
it's copying all the previews. So this takes a few few moments, but at this point it's working in the background and I can finish this off. So I'm going to quit Lightroom once it's finished. And I don't need to back up right now. If we go over to my backup drive, my passport drive, here is Las Vegas catalog and it made a folder called Las Vegas and here's the catalog so I didn't even need to make this top level folder I mean that's just something I could have done the important thing is that I have this file called Las Vegas LR cat so now what I'm gonna do is go over to the desktop computer I'm now over on my desktop computer and I have connected my external two terabyte passport drive to my computer via a USB 3 port and what I'm going to do now is simply import the catalog that I created on my desktop, that Las Vegas catalog. So I'm in the Lightroom library module. I'm going to go File, Import from another catalog right up here under File menu. And it's going to ask me where do I want to find this. So I'm going to go to my external drive. Here's the Las Vegas folder. And this is the file, the lasvegas.lrcat. That's the catalog file. I'm going to click Choose. And it's going to ask me, how much of this do you want to import? So I'm going to tell it everything. And you notice here it's got the paths. And because I want to copy those uh, from the external drive to my main directory, the my main hard drive where I store all my images, I don't want to just keep them on this this. Uh, travel drive, I'm going to, under file handling, I'm going to choose copy new photos to a new location and import them. Okay, so that's the trick here is I'm going to take those pictures from the uh, external passport drive and I'm going to put it on my big 16 terabyte images folder. And I'm going to click import. And that's going to take a little while. It's going to go ahead and go. And when that process is finished, it's going to have copied everything over. I will have all of those images in their respective directory that matches my pictures directory on my main hard drive and I'll be able to start working on them right where I left off from when I was on my trip. Alright so now my import from the catalog has completed all of my images have been transferred from my small portable drive to my large external drive here is my Lightroom catalog all of the folders are as I left them and the more important thing is that things like my pick flags show up. So all of the color labels and flags that I did in Lightroom over on my laptop computer are now preserved over here. And uh, I can work with that uh, right where I left off without having to redo anything or do any funny uh, exports. Okay, so now you've seen how you can transfer images very easily between Lightroom running on your notebook computer to a desktop computer. The trick is to have an external drive. It makes a lot of sense anyway. This is a, you know, again, two terabytes instead of, uh, you know, a 500 gig drive that you might have on your laptop. It'll save space on your laptop and it provides portability. So don't forget to check out all the good information in my blog at luminescentphoto.com and I hope to see you soon either online or in a field workshop.